Hello friends, God bless you and let us see what God can teach us today from the one of the greatest construction project from the Old Testament. And if I tell you that we are going to look into Genesis chapter 6, you would immediately realize that we are going to talk about Noah's Ark. And it, that it is so fascinating uh, the story about Noah's Ark that we have heard it from our childhood, even in, in our Sunday school also. Now, you see, until Noah's time, there was no flood. And I don't think that there was a need of boat or ship until that time. So people did not know how to build the boats or ships or ark. And God was so gracious that God provided Noah the detailed instruction, very, very detailed instruction that God told that uh, how long the ark should be, how wide it should be, how tall it should be, that it should be made out of cedar wood. Uh, Noah has to plaster it inside out with a tar. It should have a roof. It should have a three stories, lower deck, middle deck and upper upper deck. There were so many instructions and Noah was following those instructions, kind of a blueprint that God was telling him to build. And when Noah started building the ark, till the flood came, 120 years has passed by. So I believe that God has provided Noah a daily uh, instructions, uh, what, what is next? or if Noah has forgot something, I, I believe God would have corrected it. But if you realize, if you read the, the Genesis chapter six, you can find one thing that God did not told Noah. And Noah didn't know, uh, didn't know uh, that how important or critical that piece is. And that is, if you see uh, the, the uh, all the instruction about or the dimensions or, or the what kind of wood and then you will realize that we pay attention that there was no instruction about rudder. About rudder that, that he has to have a rudder and he has to have a sail. In Noah's Ark there was everything except there was no rudder and there was no sail. Now who would build a boat or a ship without sails that will give a power to move or rudder that way you can control which way a ship can go. But God did not provide those instructions and since God never provided Noah has never built any ark there was no rudder and there was no sail in Noah's ark. This was the strangest ark or strangest ship you will find in human history. That is, in modern times, it was about 450 feet long, 75 feet wide and 45 feet tall. It was a humongous ship. It was an ark. And it carried Noah and his family and the animals for next 40 days and night when it ra rained on earth. But there was no sail. And there was no rudder. Now why God, God is so careful about providing instruction. God provided instruction to Moses how to build a tabernacle. God provided instructions to David which he passed on to Solomon how to build the temple. God was so careful about giving instruction how they should celebrate all the feasts. But this time in Noah's car, God did not provide it or any instruction or a provision to build a sail or rudder. And Noah did not know that I needed those things. Well, the reason I believe is God wanted to take in charge of the situation. God wanted to steer the ark wherever he wants it to lead. God wanted to provide a, 
a, a, a force or energy to move or push forward those are no i did not need a rudder no i uh, doesn't need a sail when god is driving that that are everybody is safe and god god knew that he he doesn't need noah's help god can take care of the ark with that man animals and entire noah's family and it's a great lesson for us if you are passing through a storm that is beyond comprehension that is beyond imagination and you you think that you have lost control you have lost control and you don't have energy to move forward but god is bigger than any storms god is bigger than any situation god is bigger than anything we can come across when we are in his hand he is able to navigate our ships no matter how big it is and no matter where it is god can provide energy for your ship to move forward god can direct it he doesn't need our help to find a solution for our problems he is capable of taking care of it and that is why he did not provide any instruction to noah to build a rudder or a sail that was not needed and i believe that god is enough he's enough for whatever you are going through he has done it over and over again and he will do it again just for you because he loves you so much thank you god bless you